everyone, I'm here with my trainer Andrea and Andrea will give us some tips on how you can prevent injuries. Yeah, so because you're running so much more, we want to make sure that we're keeping those body parts really strong. So some of the common things that runners deal with have to do with shin splints and you've had those. I've had them and they were really, really bad. Plus the knee pain that can show up when you start to do a lot of distance as well as arch drop. So to prevent those really painful shin splints, we're going to make sure that we keep the calves really strong and the shins flexible. So we're going to start by doing calf raises, standing nice and tall with your toes feet apart and then come up on your toes and strengthen. Very good. So if these are really strong, they're going to help absorb some of the movement while you're running. It also will condition your ankles and give you that stability that you need to prevent that rolling over. I recommend trying to do at least 20 to 30 and it's great to do them just before you run to get that warm up and conditioning. And then to even challenge yourself, stay up at the top and hold, contract. Beautiful. This is not a problem for me at all. You could run in stilettos, I bet. I can. So the next one is to make sure that the shins are flexible. So for that, we're going to need a mat. We're going to pop down on our bum. We want to strengthen and stretch out the shins. It's really important to kind of condition those muscles when you do your shock absorption. So the setup is to extend this leg nice and long, and then from there, pull your toe in, and you'll feel this is the shin muscle that gets really strong. So point and flex your toe a couple times, and then as you pull your toe up, can you feel it activate this muscle group? So we want that to be nice and strong. It's a good idea to do it before you go on your run to make sure that it's open and active. And then to stretch it out, you're gonna keep your toe pointed, good, and just push as hard as you can. And you'll feel it get all nice and long in here. Or you can put that foot on top. Good advice, and push down. And push it down even harder. Yeah. So the third thing that we want to avoid is the arch drop. It's kind of like the arch underneath starts to get too much pressure. So it's really important to prevent that because you'll feel it even when you're not running. So the one most important thing is to get the right shoe. So if your running surface has absorption, it's going to support the arch in your foot as well as displace some of the pressure when you run. Now when you already have it and you're having to deal with it, the best way to do it, take off your shoe, get a ball, and go ahead and massage it out. Good. So you're going to find those hot spots and those pain and you're going to put the pressure on. Now if it's really tender, you're going to want to use a nice softer ball, but then graduate eventually and use like a golf ball. To get more pressure on it, you would stand. Because yeah. when you stand, mm -hmm. you can put more of your weight on it. You get much more pressure. It hurts more. Yeah, it does. Which is kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course, you know, rest. When you're in a lot of pain from running, sometimes it's just better to take a day or two off get in your stretching and your flexibility, and then, you know, hit the trails a couple days later. So make sure that when you're running, you're gonna keep your eye out for certain injuries that pop up. We went over shin splints, we went over knee pain, and we went over arch drop. If you take care of all those things, you'll never have to get off the running trail. And if you're running with me this summer, make sure you keep these tips in mind. To see a breakdown of Andrea's tips, please check out our blog.